Well, I'm coming out of the trees now. Uh, I couldn't make it through that really thick part. The fall downs were just too much. And so I turned around and came back down by the creek and came back this way. Now I'm headed back up to an old campsite and uh, I'm gonna try uh, what Terry Barney has shown recently in the Bushcraft USA forum of how to start a fire when things are really rough and you want to get it going fast. I got a little uh, kit I wanted to try just for the fun of it, see if it works. If it does, I'll keep it in my pack. I'm purposely getting twigs that are not dried. They uh, have been in the rain. And uh, even though they're underneath this tree here, so we can test my kid out that way. They don't snap off. So they're kind of wet. That one. Anyway, I'll get some of these for my twig fire and uh, see how it works. Okay, here's my pack. Got three bags on the outside. Water, stove, uh, rain gear, and then my tarp, and then everything else is underneath the tarp. Here's my immediate go-to uh, kit that I wanted to check out today, so we'll try it. But uh, I wanted to really prove it, so what I'm going to do is pour some water on these twigs here to make it even more realistic. There we go. Okay, I'll tune you back in in a second. A uh, lighter. So, Terry had people cut the foil open and I'm just going to unfold it here. So I got Vaseline on the uh, flint there and we got a lot of fat wood in this area. So I always have fat wood in my kit. We'll get that going. Takes a second or two. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit better here. There we go. Probably don't have my dryer lint fluffed up enough. It's going to go in a second. Now I'm going to put my wet twigs over. Kind of make it so there's enough oxygen. Now these are just damp as damp can be because I watered it down. Let's see if it works or not. The idea is to have the fire go long enough to dry out the uh, branches. I need to get more of my fat wood over here. There we go. Fat wood in our country is readily available. It'll burn when it's wet. But the idea is to get a fire going as soon as you can. And because of the twigs being wet, I soaked them with water. It's going to be a little smoky for a while. 
but we'll see if it works or not. Looks like our dryer lint's catching on fire okay. Now my bags aren't vacuum sealed or anything fancy, but I keep them in my pack there where it's uh, covered really well in the baggies. And then I have uh, about four other ways to start a fire. And one of them was actually with a torch um, that you'd use at a camp out or something. So I'm hopefully well prepared for something like that. But I did want to try this little kit that uh, Terry uh, kind of emphasized that, you know, a split wood fire is a good way to go. You want to get to the inside of the wood, but sometimes this might be a little bit faster getting the twig fire going if you have something that will be burning long enough underneath, sustainable, to dry out your wet wood here. Looks like some of this is catching on fire now. And what's good is my fat wood, there's still some more down there to catch on fire. With the foil base, and I put it on a piece of dry bark, and that was hard to find. If you look down at the, let's see how the camera's pointing here. If you look down here, that's all wet right there. That's all wet ground. So everything's wet from yesterday. But looks like the, move the camera out of the smoke. Looks like it's going okay. So what I do then is try to find some more wood that's bigger. There's a piece over here. Stick it on. This stuff's wet here, but uh, it would probably go. Move you back a little bit. So, I want to prove that I can get a fire going that'll, that'll stay going. So I really haven't proved it yet. I mean, I got a good flame going, but I want a good, a good fire. So I'm going to get some more larger stuff. Got some big limbs here. Just put them in there for now. This one is really wet. Both of those last two are nice and wet. They were laying on the ground. So none of that's dry. Zoom you back out here a little bit. But if I can just keep that fat wood and dryer lint going down there, this will, your flames will get up enough and start drying out the whole thing. I got some fat wood down here that hasn't caught fire yet. And so I'm gonna get some oxygen to this a little bit, prop it up here. Poke that fat wood in there more. Yeah, that's just spongy. It won't even uh, go breaking, I mean. Yeah, I can't break any pieces off. Well, my hope is that this bigger wood will dry out and catch on. I'm going to turn the camera off so I won't bore you, but I won't do anything else and we'll see how it goes. Well, I'm convinced that it's going to go now. It's catching on to this bigger stuff. So now I can feed still some more stuff that I find scavenging around. One thing I wanted to point out is uh, if you're in a pine needle area, pine needles, if you can find them even halfway dry, they really flare up a fire. Watch this. That will dry stuff out. 
they were a little damp. I got them out in the sun so they've dried out a little bit but you can see the middle part where it's where that yellow heavy smoke that's from them being wet but look how it's helped the fire. Now I'll stick on some of some more twigs that I got that uh, are kind of in between dry and damp and now I can get a good fire going. It feels warm already so Terry's way is a good way. The foil way is is a great way to go. It's a, a nice base so when it's wet that uh, bark wasn't totally dry so if you have it on the uh, foil it's going to keep it nice and dry. So thumbs up to Terry. It's a good idea. I did a little different than some of the others that have tried it because I have fat wood and I use dryer lint. They use cotton balls soaked in uh, Vaseline. I use the dryer lint soaked in Vaseline. Not much different. But the idea is to have something ready to go, really dry, and light it with a match. What they did, they took the matches out, lit it, and then got all the matches on the uh, matchbook and threw it in for uh, extra fire flame heat at the start. And I use the fat wood as my accelerant more which I have plenty of and I keep in my pack so good deal now I'm gonna get warm here thank you I kinda wanted to uh, show off my pack a little bit here too it worked really well today a spoon I have my uh, water in here that I use to uh, drench the fire sugar for coffee and I got the uh, container that you can uh, use to boil water in. This you can use to boil as well. And it has uh, the uh, wire thing that you can put in. Uh, I guess the camera's looking up here. The wire thing you can put in there to hang it from the top. And then I got another spoon, some oil, a lid. Top of the pack, I got my tarp. And inside I got another dry bag, towel, and just a whole bunch of stuff. Food, um, a bow drill set because I like to do it, a pair of gloves, some dry tinder, a cup, and this is my fire kit here. And then I have uh, another metal cup down under underneath and just a bunch of other stuff. This middle one right here is my rain fly. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, that you put on. Always when I do uh, videos I can never think of the right names. Carry this because it usually never fails. And I got my jet boil for a stove in here. And then I got my tomahawk here. Cold steel that's on there and a bunch of other odds and ends you know that you'd need in a pack. One thing I realized today that uh, would be good to, is to bring some wipes and uh, I didn't do that. But I got uh, a good uh, silky saw and then this knife on my belt it, it goes in the pack as well because I usually have another knife and also this uh, well, shoot, I'll spin this down here, being a dork. On my belt here, this uh, multi-tool I take and put in the pack. This doesn't go in the pack, but I usually carry it. It's just a flint and steel and a, a rod in there as well. And that's about it as far as uh, the usual stuff in, in a pack. But I really like the pack. It's a Spec Ops pack. Uh, has a lot of room. I could put probably some more stuff. The only thing it doesn't have is a sleeping bag and I'd put that on the top up here and lash it to it. Plenty of mollies on both sides so I can strap stuff to it. So really like it. It's a good pack. And that's what I took today. I went about three miles and uh, it felt fine.